Hello YouTube, this is the Minecraft Cookies and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the Raze Minimap mod for Minecraft 1.3.1 that just came out August 1st. So first off, you want to go to the first link in the description and that'll take you to the Raze Minimap page and you want to scroll down to the download section and download it for 1.3.1. And then, after you have it, go ahead and just drag it onto your desktop. Um, I always do that when I'm installing mods. It keeps everything nice and organized. Now, um, before we actually um, install this, we want to make sure that our Minecraft is at um, Minecraft 1.3.1 and not 1.2.5 or any other version. So you see here, mine is at 1.3.1. Um, you just want to, um, when you start up Minecraft, you want to click on that button right there. Um, it'll say update now and then you can click yes or not now. Um, you want to make sure you update that so then you have 1.3.1. So let's go ahead and locate our minecraft.jar. Um, now on a Windows you want to type percent app data percent. You guys should know this by now. I don't have a PC so I wouldn't really know the process. Now on a Mac you want to go to your homes folder, your library folder, application support, and then Minecraft. And then once you're in Minecraft, you see we have everything here. Next, we want to go into our bin folder. And then um, I already have my Minecraft.jar compressed. Um, but if I didn't, what I would have to do is I would have to right-click my Minecraft.jar. And then I would have to, um, let me just go ahead and show you it on um, one of these random jars here. Um, it'll still work. So let's go ahead and compress one of these. So just pretend this is my Minecraft.jar. I compressed it. I would drag my Minecraft.jar onto my desktop. I would double click the zip file that it made and then it would make a folder and with the folder I would hit get info and I name it dot jar at the end and then I would hit add so surprisingly this will actually work you can see there's files in here and I'm not gonna mess around with any of that stuff so let's go ahead and copy all the files that we got on the raise mini map to copy all these and you should have five items in there and then we want to paste these in our minecraft.jar paste items and replace and then you want to delete the meta inf folder um, so you can just hit meta inf and then try to find it I've already deleted mine so it's not there so let's go ahead and log into minecraft and we should have raised little mini map mod and looks like minecraft starting up perfectly fine let's go ahead and delete this world and make a new one and then um, I guess I'll give you, I guess I'll show you a little bit of Ray's Minimap if you guys don't know how to use it. Um, this is actually the first time I've ever installed it, but I did watch a um, quick video on it so I could show you guys. So you see we have our map at the top, um, which is really cool. And then um, if you want to go to the menu, you just hit M and then you can change all these uh, little things here, uh, which is cool. And to get out of it, you just hit escape. And uh, let me go ahead and just change a couple of my settings. Snooper settings, what's that? Whoa, that is awesome. I haven't seen that before. Video settings, there we go. Eh, that should be good. Okay, sorry if I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Um, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and hit C. Um, you see it'll open this waypoint edit thing, and we can go ahead and uh, enter a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this Bacon. And then you can change the colors uh, to whatever you want. Um, let's go ahead and make this a uh, nice lime green. There we go, and hit OK. And you see that it creates this little thing right here on this little color that we chose, and then bacon. So we can actually run away, and it doesn't matter how far you go, um, it will always show you that point. So you can always um, put that on your house, and then as you can see, even though we're behind blocks, it just shows how far we are away from it. Um, which is really handy and you can create these waypoints um, all around your worlds but yeah guys that's pretty much it it's been kind of a little spotlight and installation tutorial I'm glad you guys uh, watch my videos anyway thanks so much for watching I will see you in the next video please like this if you um, enjoyed it and don't forget to su subscribe if you haven't already thanks guys bacon